Dylan, where are you? This whole thing's about to start. I know, I know. I was just so excited. I couldn't decide between my blue suit or my black suit. On one hand, the classic bl uh, blue suit is really fly, but wait, are, why aren't you dressed? Oh my gosh, is there something wrong? Are you okay? Dylan, I'm fine. I'm just in my bedroom, in my sweats, for like the millionth time this year on a Zoom call. It's fine. Francesca, this is not a Zoom call. This is the tribute to Leon Letterman and the 2020 Alumni Award Show. This is more than just any other event because we're here to celebrate IMSA's founder and three amazing IMSA alumni. Okay, you don't have to make it sound like I don't think Dr. Letterman and our alumni aren't cool. Because I do. Then why aren't you dressed? It'll only take a sec. I'll be right back. For the rest of you who need a sec to change out your sweatpants. I'm back. Oh, wow. That was like a second. You look great. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the Leon Letterman Tribune 2020 Alumni Award Show. Did you know that Dr. Leon Letterman was the founder of IMSA? He was, and we're all very saddened when he died on October 3rd, 2018. Similar to how our parents feel about us, Dr. Letterman always had much love, affection, and praise for IMSA, and high expectations for its faculty, staff, students, and alumni. Because of Dr. Letterman's tireless efforts, IMSA alumni have gone on to become scientists, engineers, doctors, entrepreneurs, and educators, fulfilling the dream Dr. Letterman had for IMSA students. You'll learn more about this incredible man in just a moment. Speaking of IMSA alumni who have gone on to do amazing things, we are excited to honor three accomplished alumni in our second half of the show. I can't wait to meet them. Me either, Francesca. Did you know that the Alumni Awards were started in 2006 by the IMSA Board of Trustees? Alumni Awards are the highest honors awarded to alumni in recognition of their accomplishments and contributions to their field of endeavor, to IMSA, the citizens of Illinois, our nation, and the world. This will not just be another Zoom meeting. Am I late to the Zoom call? Wait, where's Francesca? It is not another Zoom call, but that is a nice tie. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome IMSA President Dr. Jose Torres. Does it ever get old being called the president? No, not really. Ha, <laughs> I didn't think so. I just wanted to welcome everyone again to the Leon Letterman Tribute and 2020 Alumni Awards. We want every student who attends IMSA to know our founder, Dr. Letterman, and also to help to celebrate the accomplishments of our alumni. Thanks to you and Francesca for co-hosting the Zoom, I mean, this non-Zoom event. I hope everyone tuning in today is healthy and well. Take it away, Francesca. Thank you, Dr. Torres. You're still our president, and we appreciate everything you do for us. And now, let's get to our tribute to Dr. Leon Letterman, the founder of IMSA. IMSA was created in 1985 and opened its doors in 1986. The first graduating class, called the Charter Class, finished in 1989. I am excited to introduce a member of the IMSA Charter Class of 1989 and the chair of the IMSA Board of Trustees, Dr. Aaron Roche. Hello. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this celebration. It is my pleasure to help honor IMSA's founder, Dr. Leon Letterman, a man who I knew and admired for over 30 years. Born and raised in New York, Dr. Letterman became the second director of Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Batavia, Illinois in 1979. His administration brought Fermilab into its position of scientific prominence by 1983 with the achievement of the world's most powerful superconducting accelerator, the Tevatron. Dr. Letterman also became a leader in launching programs to encourage young people to pursue their scientific interests. His deep concern for the quality of science and mathematics education in Illinois and his intense commitment to motivate students to pursue careers in science led him to propose the concept of the Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy, a place that would inspire and challenge students of exceptional talent. Leon was known for his humor. He says it put him into a comfortable relationship with other people. He believed it was part of teaching, once, he gave a talk before the New York Science Teachers Association at the Stardust Room, a place where great comedians performed. He took the microphone and said, the teacher says to the student, hey, wake up that kid who's sleeping next to you. And the student says, why should I? You put him to sleep. As a physicist, researcher, university professor, national laboratory director, and Nobel laureate, Dr. Leon Letterman influenced the role of science and science education, but will be remembered most by the IMSA community for his love of science and of students. I love the way he worked with students. He introduced us to the academic community by bringing in his no fellow Nobel laureate so we could learn from, interact with, and be inspired by the greatest minds of our time. Dr. Letterman was a shining light that changed the world in the way we learned about science. He had such a passion for science and for students. 
I remember when Dr. Letterman was at IMSA several times in the late 1980s. I was struck then and still today by his vision of IMSA as a place to foster innovative scientific and educational practices. Before his first visit, he hadn't yet won the Nobel Prize. He won it in my senior year, I believe. Then he came back to visit students and faculty as this world-renowned celebrity. And he had the same passion to champion IMSA students changing the world. He was so personable and he was a visionary. Throughout his lifetime, Dr. Letterman has been honored by presidents and kings worldwide for his contributions to science, including President Lyndon B. Johnson for the National Medal of Science, President of Israel Chaim Herzog for the Wolf Prize in Physics, President Bill Clinton for the Enrico Fermi Award, and King Carl Gustav XVI of Sweden, who presented Leon with the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1988. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, IMSA staff, including faculty and all IMSA alumni, I encourage each and every one of you, our current students, to carry on his legacy. Your passion, dedication, and contributions to society will make his life's work and his vision for IMSA shine bright always. If we do what we know is right, we know what we feel is right, it's bound to happen that among our graduates there'll be numbered scientists, engineers, and those who go on to earn degrees in law and the humanities. There are likely to be those few who create new intellectual worlds, cure a human ailment, or in some other way, significantly influence life on our planet. A oh, philosophy, because we don't know which of our students will do these things. Our philosophy will be to treat our charges as if each one is capable of this extraordinary achievement. Only one such product will make the effort and expense of this school for its entire duration worthwhile. Thank you, Dr. Roche, for sharing the life of Dr. Letterman in that very special tribute. Wow, what an amazing man to have created IMSA for all of us. I think if Dr. Letterman was here, he'll be very proud of our next guest. That's right, it's time to meet the 2020 Alumni Award winners. The Alumni at Titan Award honors alumni who have provided outstanding service to IMSA. This honoree is an enthusiastic and energetic IMSA champion who dedicates significant time, talent, and or treasure to endeavors that help the Academy. And the winner is... Ms. Tamora Kimmett is an advocate for IMSA and its alumni community. She has volunteered her time to IMSA for over 20 years, serving on the Admissions Review Committee as a Computer Science Career Forum Panelist, an Alumni Women in STEM Panelist, an IMSA Alumni uh, Association Cabinet Member, a Reunion Volunteer, an Alumni Regional Event Planner and Host, and as an Ambassador for IMSA and Alumni Connections. She works in the software industry and is also passionate about civil liberties and food security. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Tamora Kimmett. I am honored to receive this award from the IMSA Board of Trustees. It is a privilege to be recognized for my volunteer work for IMSA and its Alumni Association. And I am honored to be in the company of the exceptional alumni receiving leadership awards today, Amy and Rihanna. My life was changed by attending IMSA. This school gave me a valuable educational foundation and exposed me to broader horizons and values. I have carried those lessons with me throughout my life. I want to thank the IMSA faculty who nurtured my love of problem solving. I remember spending free periods in the math department, working with a classmate, covering every board in a classroom with our ideas and formulas to solve a problem that had been posed for us earlier that day. I remember debating with my classmates in our Interdisciplinary Science Society in the Future class about the ideas and laws that should guide our society. I was mostly wrong at that time. I thought that the principles which guided my family should apply to everyone, and I had to learn that the world was a much wider place than I knew. I learned to make productive mistakes and use evidence-based reasoning, and I am so grateful for those lessons. I also want to thank my fellow IMSA students who provided me with a community. IMSA was the first place where I felt celebrated for my talents and welcomed to be my authentic self. I volunteer for IMSA because I appreciate the community and the opportunities that I was provided, and I want to help make those opportunities available to IMSA students for years to come. 
IMSA is a wonderful institution that has the potential to transform the lives of Illinois students. Students, I urge you to take advantage of this chance. The strong friendships that you form now can support you through life's challenges. Once you graduate, the IMSA alumni community will welcome you. There are now thousands of IMSA alumni who share a set of formative experiences with you, and they are willing to share their expertise and contacts. Reach out and get involved, and consider giving back to IMSA to pay it forward. To the IMSA Board of Trustees, IMSA faculty and staff, and my fellow alumni, thank you again. Congratulations, Ms. Kimmett, and thank you for all you do for IMSA. Our next award is a Distinguished Leadership Award. This award goes to alumni who have made achievements or leadership contributions in the professional fields consistent with IMSA's mission. The awardees also may be recognized for extraordinary courage and selflessness under challenging circumstances. We are excited for you to meet not just one, but two Distinguished Leadership Award winners. Our first amazing winner is... Ms. Rihanna Gunn-Wright is the Policy Director at New Consensus. She has worked on creation of the Green New Deal, which is a plan for 100% renewable energy and net zero greenhouse gas emissions. Also, she has written for The Guardian and was included in Time Magazine's list of the top women fighting to end climate change. Ms. Gunn-Wright attended Yale University for her undergraduate degree, majored in African American Studies, and graduated with honors in 2011. After graduating, she joined the Institute for Women's Policy Research as a research fellow. In 2013, Rihanna was selected as a Rose Scholar at the University of Oxford, where she studied social policy. After graduating, she served as an intern to Michelle Obama. I am so excited to introduce Ms. Rihanna Gunn-Wright. Hi, um, thank you so much to everyone who was a part of me receiving this award. It's an incredible honor. I never expected, particularly at 30, to be winning a Distinguished Alumni Award. So it's really a just a real honor. And so I'm very grateful. Uh, IMSA was a huge part of my development um, and a big part of my road to working on the Green New Deal, to developing the Green New Deal, and to working in policy in general. Um, and so to all of you who never want to use math again, there is a future after IMSA. <laughs> And all the rest of you will become engineers and doctors and really wonderful STEM professionals like so many of my old classmates. Um, but in the meantime, good luck on what's a really tough year. Um, I know you're going to be great, um, and I hope that you're receiving all the support and care that you need. Um, thank you again. I'm really sad I don't have my award to share, um, but it's gorgeous, and I just... I don't know how much, how else to let you all know I appreciate it. Now that is one distinguished leader. Congratulations, Ms. Gunright, but we're not done just yet. We have another distinguished leader to honor today, and she is just as cool. The winner is... Ms. Amy Meek works to protect and promote access to education by addressing the individual and systemic barriers that disproportionately impact historically disadvantaged communities using an explicit racial, racial justice lens. She previously worked as a senior attorney at the American Civil Liberties Union of Illinois. Ms. Meek engaged in litigation and policy advocacy efforts on civil rights issues including reproductive rights, pre pregnancy discrimination, domestic violence, voting rights, and freedom of speech. Before joining the ACLU, Ms. Meek taught at Loyola University of Chicago School of Law as the Civitas Child Law Center's Policy and Legislation Clinical Teaching Fellow. She has also served as re-entry coordinator and deputy chief of staff for the mayor's office of the city of New Haven, Connecticut. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Amy Meek. Thank you. I'm honored to accept this award. IMSA was a formative educational experience for me. It expanded my horizons and it challenged me. At IMSA, I felt encouraged to pursue the topics that I was passionate about and to question existing systems of power and authority. The friends that I made at IMSA are still some of my closest friends more than 20 years later, and the lessons that I learned at IMSA continue to shape my values and my career path as a civil rights lawyer working to challenge entrenched systems of discrimination, racism, and oppression. 
the acceptance, the flexibility, and the encouragement that I felt at IMSA to pursue my passions. That's what every student should be offered at school. And it's rarer than it should be in an educational environment. In my current work at Chicago Lawyers Committee, I work to dismantle the school to prison pipeline. And I often think about the privileges and the freedoms that I had as an IMSA student and how they contrast to the more punitive approaches that many black and brown students face at school. And I also know that both when I was at IMSA and today, IMSA has not always lived up to these ideals for all of its students. Recruitment and retention efforts for black and brown students and faculty at IMSA have often fallen short. This has also been the case for other underrepresented students of color, students from poorer homes and smaller schools. At the same time, I've been really inspired recently by the work of black students and alumni who have spoken up about their experiences at IMSA. And I'm so encouraged by the efforts that the administration is making to work toward equity and inclusion at IMSA. I applaud this work and there's still so much work to be done. I'm proud to be part of a community that has always inspired me to challenge authority and to fight for justice and equity in the world. Thank you. Thank you to Miss Meek and congratulations once again to all of our amazing 2020 Alumni Award winners. Yes, and thank you to Dr. Torres for stopping by and to Dr. Roche for an awesome tribute to IMSA's founder, Dr. Leon Letterman. And thanks to you, Francesca, for being a great co-host. Francesca? I just had to get out of those heels. I guess this was the best non-Zoom meeting ever. Yes, it was. And thanks to all of you for joining us today. Have a great Friday, and we'll be seeing you in a real Zoom call very soon. Mm -hmm.